Hi Virgo and Virgo Rising, here is a general look at your solar chart for April 2015 and uh, until the 20th the Sun is in an area which is in a nutshell a kind of a gear shifting area but before that transition can be made you have to let go of some things so for some people this is detoxing, decluttering, spring cleaning, for others it is changing your position, uh, your expectation, your approach, uh, and for still others this can be about um, uh, tackling issues around uh, joint interests, joint finances, joint property, uh, and the like. Uh, there, also Mercury, your ruling planet, is in the same area, so that means um, you could be thinking more deeply about things. You could be looking back into the past uh, and this is, because this is quite an emotional house it is true that emotions can sort of taint on the one hand but also sway what we're thinking because we're thinking um, not clean and clear in an analytical way, which is what your sign tends to be about. We're thinking with more of an emotional uh, bias there. So um, feelings uh, may be a good thing or may not be, um, but you would definitely be mulling over some deeper questions because of the position of, uh, of, of Mercury there. And um, answers will tend to come less through analysis and uh, common sense, uh, although common sense, hmm, possibly common sense, but more through intuitive inner knowing, I would say, that's your own, or maybe it's somebody else's, because this is the area of, of, of advice, confidential sort of advice, it's the area uh, where you also could be the advisor and others tend to come to you, uh, not just the other way around. It's also an area for sort of sketching out a strategy uh, based upon that intuitive kind of knowing. Um, uh, researching, digging and delving down into things to try and get to what you're looking for, I suppose, or maybe you don't quite know, but you've just got a kind of a, uh, a sort of uh, a, a whiff of of something being there which could be right. <laughs> so you've got to dig, <laughs> a bit like a dog on his bone, really. Um, and uh, also you'll be weighing things up, and you might have to be a little bit more sensitive to how somebody else is feeling, so what somebody else's side of is in this, sort of sensitive towards them, but also not just sensitive, you have to um, uh, be uh, almost maybe sometimes limited or guided by somebody else's requirements and uh, if this is uh, anything to do with an old contract or an agreement you have to be just you know be aware of that as well. Uh, we do have a, a lunar eclipse happening, uh, it's a total lunar eclipse and that's happening on the 4th um, uh, I believe that can be seen across uh, the Americas, or maybe just part of the Americas. And, um, of course, you can find out just by looking it up. But uh, this, for you, indicates the opportunity to make change related to these areas, related to anything uh, which you are sharing with another, uh, finances, property, but it's not just you you as an individual um, with 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 a clear uh, w w without anybody else um, to think about uh, uh, regarding the, the the property or regarding the finances so uh, this this can be a new beginning a moment for a new beginning related to um, property related to finances 
but jointly held, but or it can also be possessions, it can also be um, um, ideas, uh, it can also be um, emotional connection as well. And this is a good time to do, be doing something uh, just before the eclipse, maybe in the few hours before the eclipse or in just, you know, as close as you can to the eclipse, where you're setting up a statement of intent of how you'd like this situation to be panning out over the months to come. And uh, that should do it. And now, uh, until the, uh, uh, sorry, after the 15th, Mercury goes into a far more outgoing area, um, you not feeling so introspective and maybe slightly uh, um, sensitive a little bit more sensitive but with Mercury going into this more outgoing area on the 15th and the Sun following that on the 20th you're beginning to move up and out of being in that um, very sort of uh, inward state uh, and then that is a good uh, time for you to be uh, learning stuff joining up the dots finding those people that got the answers uh, whether you're doing that online or whether you're, you're meeting them. It's a good time for education, it's a good time for communications and publications and uh, putting anything out onto a wider stage but also sourcing from a wider stage as well or from maybe experts, teachers, um, uh, those, those with, with a particular uh, little field of knowledge that you need to learn from, okay? Um, and this is also a good time to be crossing paths with those from different ethnicity or uh, background or religion, uh, whatever it is. Uh, but also, as I said before, this is, this is the area to get the word out, beat the drum on something. Uh, and uh, then the sun comes into the same area and uh, that's from the 20th onwards. Venus is supporting relationships with those far away from a different background or a different, with a very different cultural sort of um, uh, understanding, but also from people who can help you with their knowledge. So Venus is already there and has actually left by the time Mercury and the Sun get in there. But so she sort of set that up. You could be having a, a, a feeling of kinship and uh, maybe even bonding romantic with somebody who is maybe at a distance or maybe who is very different to you and who can you feel as though they're fascinating, you can learn things from them. Um, and uh, also this is the area where publications or education, somebody could be teaming up with you to get something out there. Uh, somebody could be teaming up with you for travel as well. Um, it tends to be uh, that Venus likes to have at least one friend along whichever house she's, she's gone into. Uh, and this is the this is the, the the feeling of Venus. There means that you will be appreciating, appreciating what you're learning, appreciating the place you are, appreciating the the person, the companion, or whatever it is you see. And uh, then, as I say, Venus comes out of there and goes into the um, following area, which is to do with people in. Uh, positions of authority, positions of power who can help you because of the position they hold. It might be that you might have to have more to do with officials or red tape or um, f formalities or the legal side of things maybe. And then this position of Venus from the 12th means that somebody there would tend to give you a helping hand. Also if somebody is looking up to you as being the person who's got the um, it's got sort of the magic wand and they don't, then you could be giving them a helping hand and helping them to, to achieve their, sick, their goal, whatever it is. Uh, <clears throat> now, for all of the signs, I made another video called April 2015 in a nutshell. There are some energies around, particularly watch out for between the 5th, uh, well, 5th to the 8th. 
um, that's when it's strongest, but it'll be a little bit on either side of that. And uh, it, it's primarily really for the cardinal signs, and you're not a cardinal sign. But if you happen to know you've got cardinal signs or important points in cardinal signs, this may be affecting you. However, we're all in this thing together, so it'll be affecting some your neighbour, really, who, who has got, you know, important points or planets or the sun in a cardinal sign. And, and what this is, the sun and Mercury is going to be going over Uranus and Pluto. Uh, and these two Uranus and Pluto, there's been, they've had uh, been in the news, astrological news a lot, um, because they are the um, energies that are underpinning, uh, well, part, part, part of the scenario, in this and the configurations in the skies that we've been seeing since 2000, well, before 2012, really. Um, because they were coming together, they were applying to each other before 2012, and uh, this is this is a work in progress. This is really a long-term, ongoing thing. So when they go across, the um, Sun and Mercury go across uh, Uranus and Pluto. There could be a, we, we could be having a moment there, either directly or you're just hearing about it. And this is um, a general aspect for all of us, all of the signs. No, no, what, no matter what position we hold in the world and what we do. Um, so there could be um, surprises. There could be something which takes us aback. There could be uh, a kind of volatility and a jitteriness around, okay? Um, and that would be tend to be more in the, um, um, the first week. Um... And the thing to do with that energy is to get ahead of it and be know, know that you're going to be flexible and open-minded and not too stuck in what you think uh, or your ways. And uh, then in the second part of it, uh, there might be a feeling of coercion going on, power struggles going on again. Um, this That would be the moment to... Um, realize that you are actually going to have to compromise and drop some ballast or you are going to have to concede certain points or you are going to have to lighten up in some way and then once that's done there will be a releasing and then a, a kind of wave 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 of i suppose relief and and an opening um before you and that's simply because of of these two planets being planets of transformation and transition which are evolving us all um and uh this is a fleeting moment however because it is such a long running one uranus and pluto we have to be mindful and we have to pay attention um because if it isn't affecting you directly it might be affecting others and you are here as the great um, helper and servant to the rest of the zodiac. Um, so um, that's just for your information. Okay, um, now then, Mars is in a very outgoing, expansive area all month, all month, and it's in a really, Mars, uh, the, the doer, uh, the, 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 the initiator, the motivator, uh, might be a bit preachy in this area here, <laughs> might be like, okay, I have the truth, I'm going to hit you over the head with it. Um, but as long as you can kind of sort of uh, circumvent that tendency of Mars, then um, this can lead you onto a journey of discovery. This can, uh, again, travel comes in here for some of you, or just plunging into a very different type of environment, or deciding to s sign up for something that you can learn. Um, or reading stuff that uh, isn't really your material normally, but it's it, 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 you just be, become intrigued. Um, you could be very physically active um, and on the move, uh, but also um, you are getting out and about more, and you should be getting out and about, about more in just your own locality. Uh, and uh, just get outside of your routine box and that would be a, a great thing to do with Mars there and it will tend to help you get this new perspective which uh, Mercury and the Sun are underpinning as well from respectively the 15th and the 20th onwards so from mid-month and, and in the last towards the last week of the month and uh, Mars is going to be in there going on into May 
uh, Saturn uh, for a long transit is um, asking you to take responsibility and clear up loose ends from the past and uh, you could sometimes, particularly you Virgos born the 20, 25th to the 28th of August or with 2 to 5 degrees rising going to come across something which is kind of a skeleton shaking in the closet and you get a real kind of um, almost like a, a physical thing in, 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 in your tummy really um, because it's something that maybe hasn't been resolved and needs to be resolved uh, to do with family uh, it can be like that or your own emotional foundations going uh, you know right back even before this lifetime uh, so there's a lot going on there over this very very long trance it's going to be there until June and then there's a gap and it'll come back in again in September time you Virgo's born the 25th I've said that already um, so um, just uh, needs to be slowly dealt with over this long transit sometimes you'll speed up a bit and sometimes it'll be more you know um, but uh, slowly you, you, you will you will get this area um, cleared up and um, light lightened up um, so 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 wh whatever it is whatever the problems might have been or maybe they weren't problems maybe it is just to do with family matters or it can actually be to do with property and location as well Jupiter is also in a similar area for you so again tying up loose ends from the past this is the area of karma as well uh, however you understand that word to mean whatever you understand it to mean and this is also um, you dealing with maybe demons um, your own demons or just bad habits really and uh, in re uh, habitual reactions that 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 always you know uh, get you into trouble really um, uh, which maybe now you need to sort of deliberately confront yourself on and, and, and sort out doing some um, self self therapy but also going in for things which you're going to learn a lot from which will help you to understand your own psychological emotional roots better and also this is the area of art and using your imagination more so that would be um, advisable because uh, Jupiter is a learning planet so whatever you decide to do in this very background area behind the scenes uh, will be adding to your knowledge base but also to your your wisdom and your general know-how and your general ability to help others I guess um, Neptune's in your opposite sign so that means you've got to be careful that you don't turn yourself into the busy little nurse uh, on behalf of others all the time um, or the prop that somebody else uh, ends up leaning on uh, or uh, you are not putting somebody else you know way way up there on a pedestal and they are everything and you are nothing uh, because that would not be good and it would be definitely distorted thinking um, I've been here a long time been there done it got the t-shirt so I am quite confident in sharing that with you uh, and uh, you as long as you keep those that balance uh, there and uh, you, you're you are okay you know in your relationship with yourself and and you are not um, being the martyr in any way or sacrificing too much uh, um, then everything should be really tickety-boo uh, in uh, close relationships uh, and uh, you Virgo's born the 30th of August to the 2nd of September or with 7 to 10 degrees rising going to feel that energy the most um, this forecast period um, and that's it for April if you know your rising sign you inside and listen to those the bones of this the basics of this are written up on my website so have a look and uh, I'll see you the next time